Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here inside today because we are going to start hatching our turkey eggs. I am hatching Ridley Braun's turkey eggs here on the farm this year and I am going to show you how to do it because turkey eggs are finicky and if you do not properly incubate them and make sure that you treat them like they are precious cargo, you're going to have a low hatch rate and nobody wants a low hatch rate. We all of us want a good hatch rate. Start out by using a decent incubator. So turkeys are harder to hatch than chickens. It can be problematic to hatch them in one of those cheaper incubators. Even if that incubator hatches your chickens and your quail really well, turkeys are different, different, different kettle of fish here. Even though they're not fish, they're turkeys. So you want to use a really good incubator. I use Brinsea's. So this is a Brinsea Ovation. I do recommend them. Um, other good um, brands in, are the Arcom I really like. Uh, there's several other really good brands. I do a little bit of research, decide what incubator will, will work best for you. If all you have is an incubator that you got for $100 off of Amazon, you may not have a lot of success. Okay, so I do recommend making sure you have a good incubator or borrowing one or renting one just to make sure you give your turkey eggs the biggest chance of success. So, now that you've got your incubator and you know that it's decent and you want to put your eggs in it, what do you do? First, you want to run your incubator, get it up to the proper temp and humidity. So, for temperature, you want to be at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.5 degrees Celsius. You want to be pretty much exactly there. So I have an independent thermometer and hydrometer here in my incubator and it's telling me I'm at 37.4 degrees Celsius. That's pretty dead on perfect. Okay, one thing I like about the Brinsea incubators, their temps are pretty dead on and they tend to stay there. So that temperature is not going to fluctuate a lot. Turkey eggs do not like fluctuations in temperature. Turkey eggs like to be exactly that temperature for the entire duration, right up until lockdown where you can drop the temp a little bit. But right up until day 25, you need to have that consistent temperature. It can't be fluxing all over the place. So get your incubator up to temperature. Also, get your incubator up to humidity. Um, depending on where you live, you may or may not have to add water to your incubator. So if you live in a really humid spot, you might not have to. Get a really good, so I have a hygrometer, it's a temp, uh, thermometer and hygrometer in there, and it tells me exactly what the humidity is. And you want your humidity somewhere between 45 and 70%. Aim for like 55, but it's okay if it's a little higher or lower. Humidity is not the end of the world as long as you have a decent humidity through the incubation process. Because they are a larger egg, so turkeys are a fairly substantially sized egg. Okay, they're not like chickens. They're bigger than a chicken. So because of their size, they do need a little bit more humidity than a chicken egg would. So if you have to, add some water to your incubator to bring that temperature up. So now your temperature and your humidity are stable. Let your incubator run for at least eight hours so that you know that those temps are going to stay where they are. I'm good. I've been running my incubator for several hours. So I am just going to take the lid off. Okay. And I'm just going to slide it. So obviously the temperature will now drop, but I'm just going to put the lid aside for a moment. I am going to slide my thermometer over. So obviously the temp will start to drop and so will the humidity. That's fine because I took the lid off. It'll come back up to temp pretty quick. You want to take your eggs and turkey eggs actually prefer to be sh um, hatched on their side, but I'm not going to hatch them on their side. I'm going to hatch them upright only because these were shipped. So if these were not shipped eggs, I would absolutely make sure, I'm just going to put them here instead, but I would absolutely make sure that those eggs were incubated on their sides. I'm not going to incubate them on their sides only because I do worry about potentially not having those air sacs stabilized because these were shipped eggs. And I am actually going to put them back here. Okay. 
eggs are in the incubator. So remember, if you have not had your eggs shipped, you're going to want to lay these sideways in the incubator. But because these were shipped for me, I am going to put them upright. Once you load them into your incubator, you are going to put your lid back on or close up the incubator door, depending on the type of incubator you have. And we're just going to, there we go. Sorry, that just took a second. So then you want to sit and you want to make sure your temperature and humidity come back up. So the other thing you want to check, so you've set your temp and humidity, you know they're going to come back up. What you now want to do is make sure you set your automatic turner. You can turn them by hand if you want. I would turn them five times a day. Just turn them, turn them quarter turn through the incubation process. Turn them three to five times a day for the entirety of the incubation period. It is better if you have automatic turners because then you don't have to remember. So my eggs will automatically rock whenever the turner is engaged and my turner will go off every three hours. That is what I have it set at because that's what I prefer. I don't need it turning a hundred times. I just need it turning a little bit. So make sure your eggs are loaded into your trays correctly so they're not going to fall out because you don't want them falling out and getting broken. <laughs> make sure they're settled into their trays. Now you have got your correct temperature, 99.5 Fahrenheit or 37.5 Celsius, your correct humidity around 55%, plus or minus about 10% is fine. And you have put them in your trays and set your automatic turner. Now you have to know that turkey eggs take a total of 28 days to hatch. That means you are going to ignore them for pretty much 25 days. We are going to come back and we are going to candle them at around day 10. Okay, just to see who's developing and who's not. Day 10 to 14, somewhere in there. So when we candle them, we will be able to decide if one is not developing, we can discard it. But for the most part, we are going to ignore them. Until we candle those eggs in about two weeks, we're not going to touch them. You're going to make sure your vent is open. So I can close my vent here. But you actually want to make sure your vents are open. Okay, all of your vents should be open because you want that air circulation. It is really, really important that you have air circulation for hatching turkey eggs. You want ventilation. Without ventilation, your turkey eggs are not going to be able to breathe. And they do need to breathe. So make sure your eggs can breathe by keeping all of your vents open. If your humidity starts to drop, add more water. Okay, it is really, really important that you make sure that vent is open. Vitally important for turkeys. Do not close this vent. Okay, leave all your vents open. Take all your plugs out. If your incubator has plugs, leave them open. If you have a humidity problem, just add more water. Okay, you do not, do not want to close these vents. That is so important for hatching turkey eggs. I can't state that enough. So, set your eggs. Make sure your vents are open. Temp and humidity are correct. We will come back in about two weeks to candle our turkey eggs for the first time. Until then, just ignore them. Put the incubator away. Let it run. Check it twice a day to make sure its temp and humidity are remaining stable. Other than that, don't touch those eggs. Leave them alone. That is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We will come back in the next video and candle our eggs. We'll see you tomorrow.